My name is Dawn Siebel and this is my project. It's called Better Angels, the Firefighters of 9-11 and it's oil portraits of all 343 New York City firefighters that died that day. The words Better Angels actually come from Abraham Lincoln who concluded his first inaugural address asking the nation to heal its wounds by appealing to the better angels of our nature. To me, these firefighters represent the better angels of our nature. Uh, I was taking a picture of firefighter Tommy Sabella. He's from uh, Ladder 13 in New York City. He's actually the uncle of my best friend Jason Viglione, who himself is a 9-11 survivor. On the firemen that died um, in New York when the Twin Towers um, fell down. I feel sad for the firemen that died because their sons and their wives and their kids are sad that their dad died. There's a couple little kids who said, you know, wanted to know how long it took me to do this and I asked how old they were and they're like six and I went, well, I've been working on it the whole, since you were born. I used to live in New York City. I lived in Manhattan for 22 years, but on 9-11 I was actually in my new home in Colorado. I could not move from the TV all day long. Three o'clock that afternoon, Colorado time, is when someone came on TV and said, we think that 300, more than 300 firefighters died today. And that burst my dam. Twelve days later, the New York Times printed a two-page spread with all 343 pictures. And when I saw that, I said, someday I can do something about that. And I saved that picture, and it was a couple of years before the idea for this project came. Jeffrey Walls, I lived up the street from him. Right here, right. Stephen Sillard, I went, I, not this one here, I worked with him. Oh, okay. Oh, Louis. God. Louis Monteferri. Louis worked with me in Brooklyn a few years. This is a good man right there. A lot of loss, a lot of sadness. I still only know stories about a few of them. I'm learning more stories as we get to show it and people talk to me about the people. But even though I don't know the details of most of their lives, I have a strong sense for most of them about who they were because that just comes through for the painting to me. It's 343 strong personalities looking at you. On the other side of the wall, we have a list of all the fire line of duty deaths, uh, career and volunteer since 1981, which is when the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation and their memorial wall in Emmitsburg begins from 1981. So these firefighters have always been meant to represent all firefighters. Personally, I wish firefighters got more rec recognition. Right now it's going, to, it's going to the Baltimore, the Firehouse Expo in Baltimore, uh -huh. and then it's going down to the International Association of Fire Chiefs in Atlanta. Uh -huh. And then it's going up to New York for the World Police Fire Games. And then I hope the, the FDNY has said that they will find some place to put it for the 10th anniversary. I think it's a, it's a good display without going over the top. You know, it's just kind of a, a nice, gentle way of, of remembering them. You know, I mean, whatever we can do to remember them. We just think too many people forgot too quick. <laughs>